everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're here on the channel with a brand new GTA Online series. Now, about a year ago from now, I made a um, GTA Online movie cars list. It was an extensive list, it was over an hour long, um, but it included all the movie cars that we had at that time in GTA Online. And while it was a very good video, a lot of you seem to enjoy it. It's had loads of views here on the channel. Um, I've had a lot of complaints that it is a bit too long. So the other day I got a message from a viewer called Shift Drucker. Thank you very much to him for suggesting that I start this series. And he wanted me to do a similar video, but for each franchise separately. So we're going to be going over all the movie cars that are in GT Online in separate videos for each franchise. So today we're going to be starting it off with probably the biggest franchise in GT Online and that is the Fast and Furious franchise. So I'm going to be doing this in the Fast and Furious timeline order as closely as possible and I've tried to match the photos as closely as I can. You can't get all cars 100%, some are more accurate than others and I've tried to match the movie location as best as I can. Some of them it wasn't possible um, but I have done my very best. So let's get the list started at number one. So the very first car is the Mitsubishi Eclipse and this is actually one of the brand new cars we have in GT Online. This is the new Penumbra FF. You can also use the regular Penumbra but the Penumbra FF is closer. Number two we have on the list is the Mark IV Toyota Supra and for this I have used the Jester Classic obviously. You can get the livery quite close and you can get the hood to match. Unfortunately, we can't get the spoiler, but it is as close as I could get it. Number three, we have the, um, I'm going to call this the Pizza Boy Supra. I think it's an R32, uh, sorry, not a Supra, a Skyline. Um, this is from the first Fast and Furious film. It's the yellow R32 Skyline, a beautiful car, and we can actually get the Pizza Boy livery on the Elegy Retro Custom there. The next one we have is Dom's 69 Dodge Charger. Very simple build. I've just used the regular Dukes, not the Dukes Beta, because I feel like the Dukes is slightly more accurate. And um, I've just painted it black and put the muscle wheels and the blower on. The next one we have is um, Brian's Nissan Skyline R34 Skyline. This is now going into the second Fast and Furious film. A uh, very simple one, just silver and the blue speed block livery there. Then we have Brian's Evo from Too Fast Too Furious. Again, um, I've used the um, Sultan RS for this one. Um, the livery is not 100% accurate, but I think if you go for this color, I've used Dew Yellow here, and you apply this livery, I think most people will understand the build that you're going for. Then we have Suki's S2000, Honda S2000. This one isn't very close to the, um, to the photo there, but you can see if you paint it pink, you go for the pink neons, you remove the roof. Um, I've used the Banshee 900R here, it does look quite similar. Then we have the Gold Supra, um, which you can actually get the livery for this one as well. Um, it's not 100% accurate, but um, I've done my best with this one. You can't really get the gold colour 100% to match. Um, it's as best as I could do with the GT on Online colours. Um, so that is that one. I've used the Jester Classic again there and a very nice build. The next one we have is the 1970 Challenger RT. This is also from Too Fast Too Furious and they use this at the very end of the movie. They sort of um, deliver some money bags in this one. I've used the Gauntlet Classic obviously for this one. Quite a simple build and a nice looking car there as well. Then moving over to Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, we have the 
Evo 9. This is a very nice build. Again, I've used the Sultan RS for this one. Um, technically, not actually an Evo 9, but you can get the livery for it. Um, you can make this one look very, very close to the actual movie car. Um, so, yeah. Then we have Hans RX-7, a very, very famous car in the Fast and Furious franchise. And you can get this one in GT Online as well. Most of you probably knew that. I've used the Banshee 900R there, gone for the orange paint, and then you just apply this black livery, and that is about all you have to do. And then we have the Mustang, the uh, Tokyo Drift Mustang, which is uh, very at the very end of that movie. Uh, they race down the hill, and um, Sean is in the Mustang. And for this one, I've used the Vapid Ellie. Um, you could also use the Rapid GT Classic. Technically not a Mustang, but um, it does look kind of similar, so you could use that as well. I've gone for the Ellie because it is actually based off a Mustang. And then I've just painted it green, and you can get the livery. Then, moving it over to the Fast and the Furious, we have... Um, Dom's Buick Grand National. This is a very, very close one. You can get this almost 100% movie accurate. I've used just the faction for this one. You don't need to apply any Benny's upgrades to this. You can just use the regular faction. Um, applied some nice muscle wheels here and paint it black. That is about all you have to do. And then moving over to Fast and Furious 5, or Fast 5, we have... Um, Brian's 1972 Nissan Skyline GTR. Um, this doesn't get a lot of screen time, but you can actually get this in GT Online. I've used the Volcar Warrener for this one. Uh, just paint it black, and then I've gone for the Fujiwara um, sort of mini light looking wheels and just painted those black. And then we have the Wastelander. I don't know what this is actually called in the movie. It doesn't really have a name. It doesn't really have much screen time either. Um, but you can get this in GTA Online. In GTA, it is called the Wastelander. So I'm just going to refer to it as that. You don't have to do anything with this. Just buy the Wastelander and it is pretty accurate to the movie car. And then we have um, Hobbs's Gurkha. Um, this one also doesn't get a, a lot of screen time in Fast and Furious 5, um, but you do see the car, you can get the Gurkha, which is obviously the Insurgent in GTA. Um, I've just gone for a matte moss paint here, and then I've tried to match it up as close as I could to the sort of setting in Fast and Furious. Then moving over to Furious 6, Fast and Furious 6, we have... Um, Dom's SRT8 Challenger. Um, this is quite a simple one. For this one, I've gone with the gauntlet, just the regular gauntlet. Just paint it black and apply these sport wheels, and that is it. Then we have the flip car or the ramp buggy in GT Online. Again, this is one of those that you just have to buy the vehicle, and that is it. You don't have to do anything with it. Then we have another one of the new cars in GT Online. We can actually get Dom's Daytona now. Um, the lights aren't 100% accurate because we can't actually get the non-pop-up headlight version. Um, but I think most people will understand the build you're going for. I've used the Gauntlet Classic Custom for this one. And it is obviously Dom's 69 Daytona. Then we have Brian's Mark 1 Escort. And for this one, I've used the rap Vapid Retinue, not the Retinue Mark II, just the regular Retinue. And you just have to paint it blue. I've applied the Mini Light Fujiwara wheels, painted them gold. You can go for some mud flaps. And unfortunately, we can't get the livery on the side, but you can get it to go over the bonnet and over the roof. So I decided to go for that, just to give it something. Then moving it over to Fast and Furious 7, we have Letty's Challenger. Uh, for this one, I've used the Gauntlet Hellfire. You could use the regular Gauntlet, but you can actually get it more accurate with the Gauntlet Hellfire. You can get the livery, you can get the bull bars on the front, and you can get the spoiler. Then we have Tej's Jeep. 
and for this one I've used the Merryweather Messer. Not a whole lot you've got to do with this, just paint it to match the movie car and that is all you have to do. Then we have the Lycan Hypersport. Doesn't get a lot of movie time this one, but it is quite a well-known vehicle in the franchise and you can get this one in GT Online. It is the Pegasi Reaper and you just have to paint this one red and I've put some cheetah high-end wheels on this. Then moving it over to Fast and Furious 8, we have the Ford Fairline, which is in Cuba. And for this one, I've used the Classe Tornado. Now, technically, the Tornado is based off a 55 Bel Air, and the movie car is actually a Ford Fairline. But you can get this one to look kind of similar to the movie car, and I think most people understand the build that you're going for. Then we have Dom's Ice Charger. Now, technically, the drift tamper that you can see there is based off the Hoonicorn. It isn't actually based off the Ice Charger, but if you paint it silver like this, I think it does look kind of similar. And if you're doing a Fast and Furious build, I think most people understand it. Then we have Roman's Bentley. For this one, I've used the Inus Cognacetti 55 painted it white and secondary colour red and then I've just applied some chrome sport wheels. Then we have Letty's Corvette C2. Uh, for this one I've used the Invetro Coquette Classic. Just paint it red and apply the new sport wheels there and um, I've tried to match it up as close as I could to the photo as well. This is a very nice build. I do like this car a lot and I think it looks fantastic in GT Online. Then we have another one of Letty's cars, we have the Rally Fighter. You don't really see this vehicle till the very end of the movie, um, and you can't get it that accurate to the movie car. This one is a little bit off, um, but if you're having a Fast and Furious sort of car mate, I think most people will understand the car. And the last vehicle, we have Roman's Ripsaw Tank, obviously the Scarab in GT Online. Um, this is quite a simple one. You just have to paint it this dark green. I couldn't match the color 100% um, I've tried to do this as law friendly as I could in GT online So I haven't used any mods or anything like that So these are all colors you can get in GT online and you can't match it 100% Unfortunately, you can't get the turret on the roof either um, But again, if you're having a fast and furious car mate, it is something different not a lot of people will bring this thing and it is a fast and furious car that is going to do it for this list though thank you all so much for watching the video i hope this was useful for some of you if you are collecting some of the fast and furious cars in gt online um the next franchise we're going to be doing is mad max so if you're interested in finding out which mad max vehicles we have in gt online then please subscribe to the channel like the video if you have enjoyed and leave a comment if you want to see more of these. But that's going to do it from me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.